a nightmare. Right in the fucking head. It's just the liquors are just... There's no point in shooting them, because even if you shoot them, by the time they recover, you haven't ran off yet. Like, they recover before you can make distance. Before you can actually get away from them, so... I, I, I didn't use any... I didn't use the health item, though. I probably should have used it when I first got slashed, but I figured I could escape without having to use it... so soon. But that proved to not be true. And that damn dog hadn't freaking... I know once I turn the corner, I gotta kinda hug, I gotta turn that corner sharply and hug the wall so I don't get bitten because the dog's gonna be on the right side of the screen. Like right here, I gotta. Oh, never mind! It didn't even matter, look at that. He was just waiting for me. Well, this is a fail. I'm about to die again. I got hit before the camera angle even changed. I had no chance, I had no shot. I had no kind of shot. We're gonna be here a while. Ugh. It's terrible. It's terrible. I gotta take them out. Running is not an option because I'm gonna get slashed. <sighs> Maybe I should save again with all the items I need already on my possession because. I'm going to be reloading this over and over again, and I don't feel like having to pull all this stuff out the item box over and over again. Come on. I still don't, I still don't end up using that uh, health. I still have yet to use that health. Like, I didn't use it the last time I just died, because I figured I would be able to... I figured that last shot was going to make him fall back, but it didn't make him fall back. He just stood there and took it and got his slash in on me. These dogs are, are, the, are the first primary problem. I cannot get out of here without getting touched. It's pissing me off. Ooh, that was close. Go, go, go. Ugh. Look, at, look at the lengths I had to go to to get out of there without getting touched. I had to shoot one dog. Barely made it out of the way of getting attacked by the other one that I avoided initially. I wonder if he's going to see if I can get him to jump at me. That will be... <laughs> oh, see that shit! <sighs> it's like... They're supposed to... I'm supposed to jump like in a straight line. He's like he's he's tracking me down as if he's got some type of homing mechanism on him or something. This is bullshit. How many times are we gonna redo this? <sighs> Trying to figure out a plan of attack. I mean, a strategy to get around. I know I can bait I can bait one of them into jumping at me and avoid the lunge, but I'm having terrible luck avoiding that lunge. I've never had this much trouble avoiding the lunge. I wonder why I keep getting hit by that flying attack of theirs. It's just I don't know. And it's hard as hell. It's hard as hell to avoid these damn dogs. Jeez. I give it a shot. This could take a lot of shots to down him, though. Oh, I got lucky there. Four shots. 
That's all it takes. All right. We can do this. There's no need to be super scared anymore. Oh, shit! Ah. Uh, I gotta do it. Fuck you. Jeez, I had to do what I... Oh, I'm still in fine. All right. Not too bad. I had to do what I had to do. This does not bode well for the future of this game. This does not bode well. And I, I didn't check any of that stuff. I didn't check the card reader, the fact that it tells you that it's locked, and then I should check the card reader. I, I, I was just under too much stress. I'll check that on Claire's. In Claire's scenario, I'll try to remember to check that. In the meantime, let's stock up on some much-needed ammunition. Some shotgun shells. Handgun bullets. You see, I was thinking that engaging those liquors was totally out of the question. Because I figured it would take, like, what? Seven shotgun rounds to kill them? More than I would want to? See, here are the submachine gun in a side pack. There's a machine gun in a side pack. With a side pack, I can carry more items. Will you... Oh, shit, I have to make a choice now. Ah, oh, I can't back out. Ah, uh, wait, I can always say, no, I don't want to take it. Okay, cool. But anyways, like I was saying, I figured engaging the liquors was totally out of the question. Because I figured they would take too many shots, and I just, it was bullets that I couldn't, I couldn't afford to waste. But it only takes four shots to take them down. So, you can consider all those deaths a lack of knowledge. Or just me assuming that it would be too much to do and try to, you know, it would be too wasteful to kill them. If I had known it would just take four shots, I would have just stood there like you saw me do and just took them out and I wouldn't have had all those deaths but hey I've never I haven't played this mode before this is playing nightmare mode for the first time so this is this is prone to happen now the question is am I going to take the side pack I mean not the, I'm definitely not taking the side pack the question is am I going to take the submachine gun you know, I'm pretty good for ammo I think I'll leave that for Claire We'll have Claire have some fun with that. Claire can put that to use. Alright, guys. It's Magnum time. It's time to acquire the mother-sucking Magnum. Let's get it. The Magnum is waiting for us right upstairs. I hope there's no enemies up here. I could be wrong. I have a feeling there's not. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Alright, you have used the club key. This is, I think this is the, the night watchman room, or the watchman's room. Whoever watches this area at night, or whatever. I think this is their area. Okay, I got a nice little TV. Let's see what we got to say here. A paper, more than a week old. A paper, more than a week old? Newspaper? Is that what he's referring to? It looks like milk. Oh, shit. An ink ribbon. You got enough of those. Nothing to say about this table, though. Nothing useful. Okay. Nothing in this locker. Are you sure? Are you sure there's nothing in here? Will you take the shotgun shells? Hell yeah. Well, we are we are really slumming it. We are really bumming it with these shotgun shells. Look at how much do we have total? Twelve. That's terrible. <sighs> Look at this guy. His throat and abdomen have been torn out. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful, Leon? It's glowing. It is glowing. I'm not sure if there's a lamp shining on it, or it's just because it's the Magnum that it's glowing right now, but it is glowing. You know that scene in Pulp Fiction, when they open the briefcase, and there's just a glowing light in there? The Magnum was what was in there. It was the Magnum. But first, let's get our read on. This is a lengthy uh, file, if I'm not mistaken. All right, Night Watchman's Diary. August 11th, I finally had the chance to see blue skies for the first time in ages, but it did little to lift my spirits. I was reprimanded by the chief for neglecting my duties while I was up on the clock tower. There's only one thing I still don't understand. The chief seemed to be more concerned about the fact that I was up on the tower rather than I was neglecting my duties. 
Why was access to the tower prohibited in the first place, anyway? September 5th. I recently talked to the old man who works in the scrapyard out back. His name is Thomas. He's a quiet man and really seems to enjoy chess. He even went so far as to design a special key and lock engraved with, the, with chess pieces on them for one of the doors in the disposal yard. We made plans to play chess tomorrow night. I can't help but wonder how good he is. One thing that's been bothering me about him is the way he's always scratching himself. Does he have some sort of skin disease, or is he just rude? September 9th. Thomas was a much better player than I had imagined. I used to think of myself as a fairly decent player, but he did a pretty good job of humbling me. About the only thing I imagine that could match his skills is chess. His skills in chess is his appetite. All the guy did was talk about food throughout the entire game. He sounded fairly healthy, but he didn't look quite right. I wonder if he's okay. September 12th. I was supposed to play another game of chess with Thomas, but we had to cancel it because he hasn't been feeling too well. He stopped by to see me, but I told him to go back and rest since he literally looked like the walking dead. He insisted that he was just fine, but I could tell he was really having problems. Come to think of it, I haven't been feeling too good myself lately. I like that file. That's, that's a really good file. That file was, that file was really uh, interesting. It's, 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 it's kind of like the Itchy Tasty file, the Watchman's Diary. It's kind of like the Itchy Tasty file, but, but without him totally degrading into a zombie. But forget that. I have an option right here. Will you take the Magnum? That shouldn't even be an option. Like, when it comes to picking the Magnum, they shouldn't even ask you. You should just click the action button, and it's yours. Who would say no? What is more important that you would like that you would say, okay, wait a minute, I'll get this later because I need the slot for something more important? No, nothing is more important than this Magnum. They shouldn't even ask. Eight rounds of death. Eight rounds of total and complete death. Anything else to say here? Nothing about the bunk beds. No. Uh, what about the sink? Nothing about the sink. Nope. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Let me see what my time's looking like, first and foremost, before we venture on. Fifteen minutes, oh, we got plenty of time. We can really do some damage. It's almost, time's almost up for this outfit of, uh, Leon's. It's almost time to return back to the original. Mm, this part could be tricky, I could easily die here, I gotta be careful. I gotta be real careful. I gotta be really careful. Like, I can do this, avoid all these zombies, but it's kind of tricky. Sometimes, if you don't, it's like a waiting. You gotta wait just long enough before you run. You gotta wait just long enough before you take off. And I gotta hug the far wall, the wall that's facing Leon. I gotta hug it and run alongside of it, and I will avoid all the zombies in this room. But I have to, the timing is everything. If I don't run at the right time, I could get grabbed by a zombie. So I, 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 I could die here. Damn! Shit. Like I said, timing is everything for that part. I'm not, I'm not that bad off, though. Damn. I think I might have waited a bit too long. I just don't know. Maybe I didn't wait long enough. Oh, I'm still not getting people healed. This is bad. I'm about to start utilizing these handgun bullets. I got tons of them. I got, like, over 200. I gotta start putting them to use. <laughs> He's just taking shots. Shit. I gotta shotgun him. I have to. I have to. I'm running out of space. Damn it. Damn it. Where are they? Oh, there he is. 
give me some headshots, guys. Give me a break. You are you, you can already see that I'm holding myself. There we go. Where's that chick at? I hear her moaning. Oh, there's another guy. If I wasn't hurt, I'd try to dodge these guys. There is a way to dodge them, but I'm kind of rattled because I'm hurt. I don't want to risk it. Look at him. Now he's moving fast. Shit. Get back! I said get back! Oh, shit. Good shit. There's two headshots off that handgun. Uh, 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 I probably could have dodged her. I probably could have made it. I probably could have made it around her. Oh, she's moving quick. Let me just pop her with the shotgun. Yeah. There's a lot of headshots going on in here. Damn, I just can't... On the way back, dealing with those batch of zombies, I know there's a way to avoid all of them, but I can't remember. I can't remember. Shoot. Nothing to say. Nothing unusual. There's a red herb over there. About to get a first aid spray. How much room do I have? Hmm. There's three slots. This is, uh... Claire's gonna really make out like a bandit. Leon left her everything. Get this cord. Make things a little bit easier for Claire when it's her turn to step up and play. I gotta be careful. Yeah, I, I kind of took it slow there because sometimes when you run, when you just run and it bursts through the window, it can actually get a hit on you. And I don't appreciate that. But we have a problem. I am dangerously short on health. Not on health. I don't have any room to get the item that I need to get. So I have to go back to this item box. I might have to drop some people. Shit. Oh, what am I doing? Damn it. Oh, that worked out in my favor, actually. Saved myself some bullets. This is not looking good. I'm just thinking about the future. It's gonna be kinda tough to hang in there against those bosses if I don't have enough health. And it's looking like I'm not gonna have enough health. I'm a little worried right now. Since I'm over here, I'm th I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use that cord. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use that cord real fast. Put myself in, uh... Oh, I don't have any more herbs. Ah, this is looking bad. Look at that. Ah, I just gotta start shooting shit. I can't fool around anymore. That's what it's come down to. I can't fool around anymore. I can't take the risks. I just gotta boss to the wall, take stuff out. Damn, I might have to. I might have to ignore the uh, ignore the handgun parts and get the first aid spray. <laughs> 